News here, so I'm actually on my day off. I had to do a, little, got a, lot, a lot of work basically at my parents' house, so they've been moving out eventually whenever they're ready. So I decided my mom wanted me to get new shoes because I wear them out quickly. Basically, the so far below here, and these are actually water resistant repellent. Back here, where this thing is, it always rubs with my foot and basically take the fabric off and it's basically it bugs my feet, bugs my heel and these are luckily like um, I think $24 for each of these they're Skechers from 2 Sensation to 4 something and then I got these that my mom paid for like $30 you know it was a lot of money it was like I had to pay 69 something these are ones that are specially designed with the art support because I can't go with the art support you know my my feet are actually bad from an injury in the past and if you don't know my, uh, my hemophilia history the bleeding disease where my liver unfortunately does not create enough protein of a factor 8 to clot normally so wherever whenever I get a cut or something it takes longer to heal it takes longer to clot because I don't have that 100% protein to activate the rest of the clotting system because it's like a domino effect. It will not trigger the rest of these enzymes unless factor 8 is put back in there. So I am actually born with a factor 8 defect. So yeah, I can tell this is what I do. This is all I could do back in the day. I can't play football or anything like that. And this is actually a, a uniform that my. Um, He's a senior citizen, he's really old now. He's having trouble going around. He used to have a lot, a, a lot of arthritis. And he has he took me in Nashville because I still can't drive. But um, these are about seven yard shirts. These from from March 2006, 2007. It's still in good shape, but the seasons with us, you doing the football is done. My parents are in their upper fifties. You know, and I'm, I'm already 28. It's hard to believe how fast it's gone. And I think less than like six months. I think it's March 1st this year, next year. I'll be 29. And yeah, I can only play games back in the day. And because of that weird defect, I always grew up playing games on the PS1, PS2. was more of PS3. That system wasn't as reliable. But I do have an Xbox that's over there, Xbox One. But I won't have to change the wiring because see, Ashley, my sister, brought the Xbox One, and now it's blocking off the sensor for the to turn on this console. So I won't have to fix everything. What she did, I don't know what she did, but it's not clinging. I like clean at times. I do have connect, you can't really see the lighting is not that good. But it's from the 360 days, you know, I still have the game for it. I got the original joy right on the console on a digital copy, so that thing works still. Just tested in the last week or so. Fantastic works, it's old. It's, I got one of the old elites, if you don't believe it or not. It's actually one of the first it's one of the first elites except for it. Guy HDR for it and it's more efficient. Before they release the smaller GPU size, it's got smaller CPU. But still working to this day, even if 
from 2008 and it still works like a charm. But this is the Xbox One controller. I can't believe they don't include batteries with these things. And they're not even worth buying. I just, I bought it a couple years ago. The battery doesn't last as long as usual. You can buy batteries like these. Oh, oh I don't turn on this console. Oh, I'll put better batteries in. I buy usually rechargeable batteries, the cheaper. Uh, I recharge them from the max and I use them like crazy. So yeah, I got a Blu-ray, two Blu-ray, not 4K, one of the consoles 4K. The Xbox One apparently I need to get a new console because my sister plays it a ton. And that's where a lot of the data goes, the usage. My new way bill actually went up. That's like the promo ended, so it went up to 55 a month, which is it was 45 for six months, and then you know, you know that's how it is. So I'm I'm basically in the progress of actually getting a new phone. I gotta wait till next Thursday to take another hundred or more, and I gotta be able to pay it off all, all at once. And I looked on Verizon, and I can only get for a trade in for this phone 45 bucks only. This is in good condition. It has no scratches on it. Uh, battery's still good, 90% still. It's just so old. It's outdated. I mean, everything. I want to get a new one, but I'm looking. If I get an older one, it's gonna get more outdated earlier. Of course, it's a risk if you get iPhone 8. It's gonna be like the iPhone 6 before you know. And that's something I want. I want to avoid. This is eventually gonna hit me again. So. Uh, if I get better videos out here, and if you're new to, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and comment like below. And I forgot to even mention this. I broke a thousand views this month on the weekend. Congrats to my subscribers, the people who watched the video, the videos wherever I had on there on the weekend Saturday. I thank you for watching my videos always, like, first time I try to start doing it. Because that meant a lot for me, okay? I'm not usually that good. I don't usually get a lot of views, but that was insane. How many I was getting, like 47 an hour on views on YouTube. I know I can do better than that because I know I gone, I can go farther than that. So let's make a goal for, for at least here to get some more views and uh, get my face first paycheck if I can make it, which... There was a couple of years ago, I think it was like, I think it was like three years ago, I started this channel. I actually started in 2012, but started putting content in 2017 in the summer. And when there was a hateful comment, there was a couple saying, you're never going to make it. Well, the view count exploded Saturday to over 800 views a day for that one day only. And then it kind of trickled out, but still having views every now and then, so... It's, you can't judge your book by its cover, okay? People judge me in the past with some kind of execution, like, you're not able to handle, you won't be able to handle a job. I've been having a job for the last seven years at Walmart. And with my disability and all that, I thought, well, you tested where you could not do that good. Well, here I am working for seven years later, getting on my eighth year for the company and you can't let people like that hold you down and slow you up because they'll get you nowhere and I have proved <laughs> that I don't fall for that <laughs> um, you know I'm gonna do this and whenever I see a bad comment for you know it's gonna be deleted for sure because I'm not gonna take that so if you the channel thanks for watching I mean it helps a lot, and I just, Hurricane Barry's coming up here tomorrow. We got more flooding. We had a lot of rain today. I noticed I had to fix the garden, apparently. There was um, a plant that was a little bit down, but I corrected it. It was like one of those cayenne plants. It was heading like this direction, you know, and I actually put some sticks down. Did a couple extra. Got some, um, a wire, electrical wire, you know. Did some of that, cut some of it off, you know, that my dad had left over. Twist it around, tie it, that'll be fine. We use it on the cages for the garden night every year since the last 20 years or more. 
So those are secured. A couple of them I need. I know they're high risk. And I'm lucky. I caught that this evening before it got worse or milder. It's supposed to be a lot more coming in in the next couple of hours until, you know, until tomorrow and late. Because it's a big storm with a lot of rain. It's just not a lot of wind. There's some risk for damage here. But the storm's got most likely rain. And it's coming up here. We had it all day today. Flooding, no flood warning, no flood watches, no watches, anything like that. Or no warning, just a bunch of rain from this hurricane system. That's going to go into New York. And it's going to exit the East Coast. It's going to go through Ohio. It's going to go through Arkansas is where it is currently right now on the time of recording this video. It is making its way up here. I've been tracking it all day on my phone and computer for the last couple of days, and it is coming. I thought it'd be going west, but it's going east upward and east. Sorry about the and thing I'm, you know, I'm used to doing things like that for no reason. So, yeah. Yeah, it's coming towards us for sure. And we got a lot of rain over two feet. So, there'll be flooding risks tomorrow and then that tomorrow evening. And after that, we got a straight shot of nice weather without all that rain for a while. Because this is the biggest part of the week in rain. So, you know, thanks for watching. See ya.